Hello friends, John Lombaropoulos with Harrison and Peter's Atelier Clothiers here. Today we want to share some concepts and ideas that we're passionate about. And as a gentleman, we want them to become important to you too. This series is what I call Beyond the Suit. So what do I mean? As a gentleman, we strive to look good. That's your image. What's inside, your knowledge, etiquette, manners, and style is part of your imago. So you may be asking yourself, John, you sell custom clothes. Why go through this imago stuff? Well, you know what? They go hand in hand because imago trumps image. And what I mean by that, without a good imago, your image can be fleeting. The purpose of this video today is to do a few things. We want to touch on a few topics that are important to us gents and feed some knowledge into your imago. Let's have a little bit of fun because no one wants to be just an empty suit. The main points I want to talk about today is first, mixing a craft classic cocktail, as well as dressing for your mate, date, or spouse. So a good one from a cocktail standpoint, we believe, and this is whether or not alcohol is what you're into or not, but as a host, you may be called upon to make one. And as a gentleman, it's good to have the knowledge handy when it's necessary. So let me fix for you today my version of an old fashioned. And we start that with some great bourbon from Garrison Brothers. Small batch out of high Texas, always oak aged. And the really cool part is that each bottle is labeled with the corn harvest date, the distilled year, the release date, and they absolutely number every one of their bottles. In my opinion, one of the finest bourbons that's out there. So let's get taken. So to make a great it takes the Garrison Brothers bourbon, pour a healthy amount of that into your shaker. What we want to do from there is then add a little bit of a fruit aperitif. Um, the other thing we'll add is bitters. We're going to toss in a little bit of sugar to counteract that bitters. We're going to give this a nice close shake. Make sure you're shaking this drink. So you get everything mixed really good. And then finally, the pour. Now you can pour this old fashioned over a single rock in a glass, or you can do it neat as I'm doing here today. But this is what I consider to be a very good old fashioned, a Garrison Brothers old fashioned. Cheers. The next thing I wanna mention is dressing for your date. Now I realize there's all kinds of dates and attires to match. Evenings out where you're dressed in a suit and she's in an evening gown, but there's also the casual functions, concerts, and those type of things. The key point here is to compliment and not outdress your date. But let me back up and talk to you about what drives me crazy. And ladies that are watching this, I think you're gonna be like, oh yeah, this point needs to be stretched. Whether she is dressed to the nines or just popping cute for a casual date, Guys, you need to up your fashion game. To see a guy wearing a pair of affliction jeans, some kind of iron-on t-shirt and beat up sneakers as part of his wardrobe or his outfit for the evening with his lady just doesn't make any sense. What I'd like to do is talk a little bit about what you can do to improve, okay? So whether this is your first date or you've been married for 20 years, what you don't know and don't care I hate to say this to you gentlemen, screams that you're lazy. And this is not about you, Peter Pan, but it's about you looking your best for her because she wants to look her best for her mate as well. So let me give you some suggestions. First, gentlemen, it's time to level up your fashion game. Dress for the type of event that you're going to. Dress to compliment your date or your mate. It's easy, it's inexpensive, and it just takes a little bit of planning and preparation. If you have questions, ask for help. And to that means, I want to offer this to you. Email me, direct message me, text me. It's gratis. Send me a picture of what you're thinking about wearing and we'll be happy to give you some thoughts and ideas to make sure that you look your best for the evening. You don't have to be a client of Harrison and Peters. Just send us a question that you have and we'll be willing to help you out. Also, ask or check with your date or your mate. What is that person wearing? You want to compliment that, right? Don't go to the distance on the other side where you're all matchy-matchy because
because that doesn't look good either, but complement what she's wearing. The next thing I want to talk about is being unique when you're showing gratitude. And there's a couple ways to do this. First, do something that others would not do. Stand out. It's memorable. Second, be genuine. To this day, I personally shop for all of my gifts for my friends, family, and loved ones. I just think it's the right thing to do to spend the time to make it personal in something I believe that one I like. Third, make it personal. Make it meaningful to the other person. Make sure it's appropriate, whether it's a professional gift or appropriate, whether it's to somebody that's in your family or a loved one, because any chum can call up and send flowers or cookies. That's not being memorable or unique. So shop, write a note, ship versus dot com your, your gift to, your, to, the, to the recipient. And if possible, always have your gift delivered by courier, a much better touch. So I hope these few tips are helpful. I want you to remember that Dapper is in the details, whether you're dressing for your work or whether you're dressing for your leisure lifestyle or whether you're going out on a date with your mate. Find and be a master of a craft cocktail. Get yourself something that you know you can be good at and be known for being able to make a terrific, in my case, old fashioned. Up your Dapper compliment your date. And finally, be unique when you're showing gratitude. We're looking forward to continuing this series. Uh, in a few moments, you're going to see the contact information come up in the credits. We'd love to hear from you. Your ideas, feedback, thoughts on future videos, other things that you would consider to be beyond the suit. We certainly value any feedback you'll provide us. Answer your etiquette, manners, and style questions. Just reach out, ask us, and let's talk. Cheers to all, Dappers in the Details.